I'm Naj from PowerMax, and today I'm here to show you how to directly replace your existing Shimano crank with a PowerMax power meter. Your best option to replace your Altegra crank set to train with power is the Rotor Aldo 24. This allows you to use your existing bottom bracket and Shimano chain rings. Now let's get going. Your first step is to use a 5mm Allen wrench to loosen the two pinch bolts on the non-drive side crank arm. Now use the Shimano tool to remove the bearing preload adjuster. Once removed, use the adjuster or a screwdriver to lift up the safety lock on the crank arm. You will not be able to remove the crank until you have lifted the locking pin from the crank. Gently push the spindle through the frame to remove the Shimano crank set. Using a T30 Torx wrench, remove the four chainring bolts holding on the chainrings to the crank. Now install the Shimano chain rings onto the Power to Max Spider, starting with the big ring. Make sure that the chain pin aligns with the crank arm. Next, install the inner ring, making sure it is facing the correct direction, with the index for the chain ring bolts facing you. Also, there is a small marker at the 6 o'clock position to help you align it with the crank arm. Now reinstall the four Shimano chain ring bolts using a T30 Torx wrench and torque them to 12 to 14 newton meters. Remove the o-ring from the spindle as well as the provided clear plastic spacers. Some frames may need these spacers but most will not. So best to first install the crank without them and check the spacing. Make sure that one O-ring remains on the drive side crank spindle. Grease the bearings in your bottom bracket. Check to ensure that the bearing covers are in place. Now slide the crank into your bottom bracket. Next, install the O-ring on the non-drive side spindle. Now install the non-drive side crank, making sure it is 180 degrees from the drive side crank. Again, torque this with a 10 millimeter Allen wrench to 40 newton meters. Turn the preload nut clockwise until it is snug against the spacer or bearing cover. Using a 2.5mm Allen wrench. Tighten the preload nut using only two fingers to ensure that you do not over tighten and strip the small bolt. Thanks for joining us. That's how simple it is to upgrade your Shimano crank set to power based training with Power to Max. If you want to know more about training with power, Make sure to subscribe to our channel or ask a question in the comments below.